Hey man, it's Marcus Leah, aka C's, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell over here, we have a I don't even know what I should call this. I think it's going to be like a streetwear essentials best cargos in denim minimal haul. Yes, I did go ahead. Um, minimal for Black Friday, they had like a deal going on. And essentially, each and every single one of these pieces I was able to get for under $50. So I'm going to be reviewing each and every single one of these. We got some really nice cargos. We have a corduroy one. We have, um, I think this is the snap cargo too. We have another pair of cargos. We have these right over here. And the very last thing is this a pair of denim that I'm wearing currently. So we're gonna go through, take a look at each and every single one of these. I'm gonna let you guys know, for one, if it's worth the money. I mean, $50 is a pretty good price, but I will give you guys good, you know, insight on the quality itself. Like, is every piece back there, is it worth the price? Would I pass on it? And then I'll go ahead and give you guys, like, I guess the exact amount that I actually went ahead and spent on all these pieces. So without further ado, I'm gonna go right over there. I'm gonna get started. All right, guys, so we're about to go ahead and get started, but I'm gonna save the piece that I'm wearing for last, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the first piece. So for the very first piece, we have the corduroy snap to cargo pants in olive. And let me just go ahead and say that for those of you guys who are looking to kind of stand out who have been looking for like cargo pants that you know are just a little bit different you know different type of material there's something that isn't just the standard you know pair of cargo pants i feel like this is the pair for you and i just want you guys to know that this video is not sponsored so everything that i'm telling you is based off how i really feel about each and every single one of the pieces that i got okay so we're gonna start off across the waist you guys can see they have the standard drawstring cord very long and yellow um as we go down to the pockets you guys can see that there this is probably the only downside that i have for the pants or for the cargo pants is that for the pockets there's not like a velcro shaft to like secure the pocket down um it does a good job of staying down but like let's say that you, you're doing something you're out or you're trying to wear it to a concert or something and you're jumping up and down or whatnot I would not recommend wearing these because there's a high chance that the stuff that you put in these pockets can come out. So I would say that's probably like the only downside. As we move down, you guys can get a good look at the material. And then we have the buttons going across the side. Um, they're very sturdy. I feel like they're gonna last a while. And this is like a heavier piece. It doesn't feel thin or flimsy. And I feel like the quality on this is very, very good. For those of you guys wondering, this is a size large and I would recommend going up a size, especially for like the cargo pants. The last pair that I bought purchased from them, I got like a medium. And I would recommend just going up a size because as you wash these pieces, they do tend to kind of shrink a little bit. And on top of that, if you want to get like the baggy type of feel or like that nice looser feel, I would definitely recommend going up a size. And now you guys are going to see what they look like on body. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the second piece, and this is the Snap Zipper 2 Cargo Pants in Black. And I have to say that these are probably the best cargo pants that I've ever purchased. And if you guys did not know, I don't know, it's just like all the components, all the little details that they have on them, to the material, and I feel like it just made these cargo pants like what they are okay so very first thing is that these are 100% nylon and a lot of cargo pants you know they're usually caught in with this being nylon it gives it a cool nice shine especially when you're under direct sunlight or light reflects off of it a little bit okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off at the waist so there is a velcro strap that is the first layer of like you know adjustments that you have then you have the drum cord strings and they basically complement the cargos it's the same type of material, same color, but I will say tying it, especially if you don't want the drawstrings to show, it is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. So you kinda have to let it hang. So like, despite the fact that it's cool and everything, the functionality for this portion isn't really the best in my opinion. As you go down, you can see the side pockets. They're pretty, you know, they go down a, a good amount. As you guys can see the pockets, they do have the Velcro straps. The buttons on the side, they start a little bit before your knee and they go all the way down so they kind of give you a whole lot more customization options and to finish off you can choose like how you want to kind of like finish it there's an additional velcro strap at the bottom so it's overall bro this is probably one of like just the best cargo pants that i have so now let's see what this pair looks like on body
forgot to mention, uh, this is a size 33. And for those of you guys who are thinking about purchasing for minimal, one thing that I have to say is that their sizing is weird. So my waist is a 31. Um, especially for skinnies, that's like what I wear, it's 31. If I get like a looser fitting pants, I usually go for a size 32. However, with them, I ended up having to get a 33. Even a 33 is pretty snug on my waist. I don't know why the sizing is like that, but I would recommend probably go at least up one size, preferably if you don't want it that snug, possibly go up with two. And also for the corduroy cargo pants, just know that the side pockets, they're pretty small. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's not like the standard pockets that we're used to like in any other pair of pants. For some reason, it does go down a whole lot less. But I mean, you do have the extra pocket, so that should basically make up for it. All right, and for our third pair, we have to drop Crocs cargo pants in stone, okay? So essentially, this was supposed to be the replacement for this one. So for the snap zipper cargo pants, I wanted to get it in brown and black. That was my plan, but they were sold out, of course. So, this was like the closest thing. And just right off the back, I'm gonna be very real with you guys. When I opened the package, I was just surprised because all the other pieces that I received from Minimal, or I purchased from Minimal, they were like heavier packages. Just picking up this, it felt like I was picking up, you know, like just a thin sheet, you know what I mean? So, one thing I have to go ahead and say is that it's not heavy material, it's very thin. I really feel like if it gets caught on something, it's going to puncture just right off the rip. But let's go ahead and get started. So, around the waist, they have just a regular, you know, drawstring. I'm gonna be very real. This one in particular, compared to like the nylon one, both of them are essentially nylon or elastic. This is just a regular, you know, rope. Um, I will say that these little side pocket things, it was a cool feature, I do like it. Um, the cargo pockets in the front right over here, they are very small, like they're almost pointless in, in my eyes. You can't fit a wallet in there, you can't fit your phone. They're very small things, like you can fit your keys in there. The side pockets, they do go pretty deep, so that's a plus, but there really isn't that many pockets. You have these half little side pockets, you have this one over here, you have some back pockets as well that are held with Velcro, I mean, so that's good. There's no adjustments going down and one thing that I'm gonna say is that the fit on these it is pretty bad as it goes down right over here it tends to kind of have a good little taper going from your knee down the fit is pretty good I do like that but from the knee up the pants they just kind of fit a little bit saggy I would only recommend wearing these in particular if you're wearing like an oversized shirt because essentially it'll be able to cover like the first half because it really looks like where like the thighs are it's really really saggy it's, just a, it's a weird fit it's not one that I would recommend so out of all these pieces this is one that I'm not happy with at all. Like if I could, I would return this one and I would not recommend anyone to get it. This one was a terrible alternative for the snap zipper. I really should have just been patient, but I was like, you know what, hey, let me go ahead and try it out. These were a little bit cheaper. I mean, they norm these normally go for $54.80. I do not feel like they're worth that price. I got them for $37.80 but I still don't feel like it was that was worth that price. Like ideally, like I wouldn't want to spend more than $20 for this one with the material and the fit. A lot of it was off, but nonetheless, I'm gonna let you guys see what it's like on body and I'll let you guys have your own opinion. And again, these were a size large. Okay, so now that wraps up all of the cargo pants and now it's time for us to answer you know just the denim we're gonna get a little bit saucy because for both of these pairs i wanted something different so we have the d249 skeleton denim in black slash white i don't know why they said black slash white because look like it's fully black and then there's crystals but i guess they're trying to say that the crystals are white for whatever reason but nonetheless okay so essentially these are their popular skeleton denim and i'm not gonna lie to you guys usually the most popular one is the one with that's just like white. I wanted something loud, like I wanted something different, so I went with the one with the crystals, and I was just like, hey man, I'm gonna find some type of outfit to put with these. So these are size 33. Again, like I already told you guys about the sizing, but let's go ahead and get started with it. So it does have the little skeleton on the front and the back. Um, it's a cool little interesting fit. It's just like regular black pants. It's kind of more of like that baggy slim fit. Nothing like tight or snug like that. It's kind of like I wanted something different. I didn't want these to be snug. I felt like that would look weird. And overall, like, I'm messing with them. Like, the quality of these, they're nice. But I will say something that is annoying is the fact that 
they didn't put a zipper on these. You put them on, you gotta button it up. And that's probably the most annoying thing ever. I don't know if they say it in the description or if I wasn't paying attention, but bro, that is so annoying trying to put these on and get all these buttons to just sit perfectly. I really wish it was just a zipper. But other than that, that's like the only con that I have of these. I like them a lot. I just still don't know what to wear with these. Or, because I'm only going to really wear these for like a photo or like every now and then when I go out. Because they are very, very loud. But it's something different, you know what I mean? I was thinking that I could probably customize a pair of white Air Forces and add these crystals to the check. And then find some type of top. I feel like that would be a cool little outfit to kind of like put together with this. But I'm going to let you guys check it out on body and let me know what you guys think. We are on to the last piece. Let me go ahead and stand up. Just so you guys can go ahead and kind of take a little bit of a look. Their orange kind of like the stretches and stuff. But essentially, these are the D150 denim. I'm being real. My girlfriend was the one who basically got these for me. I was telling her that I want something different and loud. I'm kind of trying to branch away from the skinnies and the basic, you know, denim washes and black washes. So she went ahead and got me these. I told her my waist size was a 31. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a big mistake. So I ended up getting these in the 32. It's still a bit too snug for me. 33 would have been a perfect size, but I didn't want to return it twice. Going through the denim, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot going on. I will go ahead and say that. You have, starting from the waist, these are better. They have the regular standard zipper, one button. It's distressed all the way down on both sides. Right at the knee, they added like this little zigzag stitch, which I think is very, very unique. They have it on both knees, but in different places. And then they also have like this box stitch going around. On the side, it's distressed. It's like cut up and distressed going all the way down. And they have these little, these little straps. It goes around your thigh and it goes all the way up across your thighs. So it's like a cross going down. There's just a lot going on. But overall, like I'm not gonna lie, like I actually like this pair a lot. The quality on it is actually very good. It's not like cheap material. And if you, if you feel like you can pull it off, I would say go for it. But they do have different colors. So they have a blue pair, they have a black pair, they have the orange. If I didn't get them in this one, like I'm getting these in the correct size, but for like a different wash, probably like a light blue or something. Just because I, I like what's going on with these pants. Like it's loud, but it's different at the same time. So I like it a lot. So you guys go ahead and check it out on body. So this wraps up the streetwear essentials slash best cargos and denim minimal haul. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video, but I'll let you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably not gonna link the products just because you know boys ain't sponsored me. I don't wanna have a direct link, but essentially you guys have I basically said the name of each and every single one. So if you wanna go ahead and shop with them, go ahead. I've shopped with them over like the past few years. I do rock with them for their denim. Some of them, it's like a hit or miss, so be mindful as you guys can see. The drop cropped one, this one was trash. I'm going to be a thousand percent with you guys. I do not recommend you guys buying it. But for any one of these other pieces, quality, I ain't going to lie, is actually top tier. We had an 80% success rate with this one just off just picking some pieces that I did enjoy. So if you guys like this video, I'd say y'all smash up the like button. If you're new to the channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're less than 100 subscribers away from 3,000 subscribers. Which is actually crazy. But anyways, it's more Chris Lee, aka C Easy, and I'm out.